internet and today we have something new AFK Judy has just officially released so if you are interested do check out all the links in the description and download it if it's your cup of tea thank you to Lilith Games and AFK Journey for sponsoring today's video and without further ado I'll be bringing you the top five beginners tip for AFK Journey in order to get a head start firstly let's take a look through what happens when you start the game you'll be brought into the world of AFK Journey as you play through the tutorial enjoy the cutscenes and voice lines as you go through the story and in fact this is the first tip any beginner should play through the story until as far as can be. You should be facing your first real block when you're facing against the Miasma, which is basically a blockage that unlocks a new area for you if you beat them. Now, the reason why you should play through the story as far as possible is because if you play through them, you'll unlock an array of different functions. The most important ones being the AFK system in the game, the guild, and various other game modes. So that's tip number one. Play through the story as much as you can and unlock a lot of functions that's going to help you progress your account. If you don't do this, well, <laughs> you're kind of stuck. Moving on, we're at tip number two. This will be regarding the AFK system in the game. As a newer player, you want to be able to increase your strength by simply leveling up your heroes or getting better equipments for them. The AFK system that you unlock fairly early into the game will do exactly both of that. You'll be able to obtain training manuals among a lot of other rewards, which increases the level of your characters. At the same time, you will obtain new equipments and various handy currencies that you need to progress with your account. The AFK system in the game will reward you with better currencies if you're able to defeat these AFK stages as well. Hence, the moment you unlock this function, it does not matter what characters you have, just try and beat it until you physically can't win anymore. That will be how you maximize the rewards you gain in order to upgrade your characters at the fastest rate. You want to check in on the AFK stages to see if you can beat it every few hours or so, because the game has a really quick upgrading system so you can progress without any long pauses. One of the features that allows this is the Hands of Resonance, where your entire account shares the level you upgrade and the equipment you own based on the hero's class. As long as you find even a single upgraded equipment, you may be able to beat a tough AFK stage that you never could before, and by doing so you'll slowly upgrade the rate of which you obtain the resources through the AK system, and overall just increasing the speed of you upgrading your account, right? With that said, it moves us to tip number 4. Character selection and team building. I'm sure you can find a good tier list online, but I will be covering that in this video. What I'll really cover is the main mechanics and the logic behind selecting your team. Understand this, then you'll be able to build any team without much mistake. As a beginner, you want to focus on two things regarding team building. The first is having a healer or a tank. Based on my own experience, the enemies, especially in later AFK stages, will have healing mechanics to them. Hence, if you're only focusing on damage dealers, you will most certainly struggle as they chip you down slowly while healing up the damage you do. Thankfully, the game awards with a free healer in Fey that you can use at the beginner's level, but by completing events that gives you more than 40 heroes in the game, you can obtain a really good tank like Torrent. This guy is basically the best tank in the game. After you obtain solid sustained heroes and you won't just get chipped down and die, you can then focus on the overall team building. This moves us to the second thing for a beginner to focus on with their team building, utilizing faction bonus. Faction bonus can be found in the top left during any battles. What it does is that if you're using heroes from the same faction, you gain some stat boost. This can be very valuable as having five of the same faction will outperform having only four of the same with one random at least in terms of combat power as a beginner. As you just start your game, you are basically gifted a bunch of heroes from the light bearer faction like Fey and Valor. In order to utilize this faction bonus as well, try pairing allies with the same faction in order to progress through the beginner stages quickly. You'll be able to attain a ton of summon at the strata as well, so don't worry not, you'll be able to get a lot of characters from various factions just by playing the game. And finally, we have tip number five. Build OD. Yeah, it's a weird one, I know. OD is a base elite hero that holds value far surpassing even some epic heroes. He's a marksman that has big attack ranges with high damage output while having nearly no flaws at all. It is safe to even say he is the best marksman in the game, beating out every other epic marksman that's rarer than him. As you play through the game, you will notice there are a ton of other modes. For a beginner, what I'd like you to focus on is the Dream Realm. This mode gives you massive rewards that will help you progress, so it is the one thing you want to focus on among all game modes. And honestly, this this is the real tip here. Built heroes that are good in Dream Realm. The reason why I say to just build Oni is because, well, he is good in Dream Realm, and he just so happens to be good in every other game mode too. Doesn't matter if it's PvP, doesn't matter if it's PvE, he's just good, man. And this is why for a beginner, it does not matter if you don't know which five characters to build. It might be confusing, right? You just came in, there's a lot of characters you don't know about. Just ignore all that and build Oni. While trying to set up Oni, try and shape your team around him. For example, say you got Oni for the first few summons, use the free Valid and Fey, pair them with Lucius for the triple light bearer buff, pair that with Odie and another hero from the baller faction. 
you'll get the 3 plus 2 buff from the faction bonus and a pretty balanced team that will progress you through the game easily. Moving on, here are actually some bonus tips. The first one I have for you is you should be joining a guild. You'll be unlocking the guild system as long as you keep playing the story. It does not take too long. The most impactful thing a guild is gonna do for a beginner is the guild shop. They usually have a daily reset on their store selling useful stuff at a discount. Here I have a discounted summon ticket so you want to keep an eye out on these. So you just started the game, every summon does count. And to be completely honest, you can also choose not to join a guild, but there's practically zero reason for you to do that, right? Might as well join a guild, you might talk to someone, you might make some friends, and well, you can get discounted stuff, so it's just a W. Next up, we have a quick game mode overview. AFK Journey has tons of game modes, and most of them will provide you rewards if you simply do them. But realistically, most PvP-related modes aren't too important for a beginner, considering you don't even have a team set up right. However, I would suggest just doing them anyway. Why would anyone say no to free rewards, right? This does move back to one of the previous tip of why you want to build someone that is omnipotent. I mentioned someone like Odio Torin. They are useful in nearly every scenario and game mode. By building them up, it will save you a ton of heartache and maximize the rewards you are able to grab to the limit. Of course, the easiest way to know who to look out for will be looking at a tier list, which, well, it might be a video for another day. For this one, I just want to keep it quick and simple. And with that, guys, marks the end of today's video. As a final note, you should just be doing everything that is available to you as you progress, like joining a guild or completing events, but those should come as natural. I believe I have mentioned the more important ones in this video, so I hope I help you out. And that is all for this one. Enjoy the game and take care.